As a company, eLab is focusing on a greener future, and that is the reason why we have committed to the science-based target that will move us in that direction from 2020 to 2030. To fulfill our commitment to the science-based target in scope 1 and 2, we have to reduce our carbon footprint with 42% before 2030. In scope 3, we are committed to reduce our carbon footprint with 25% before 2030. The majority of the carbon footprint is related to the products, and that is the reason why we are focusing on reducing the material already when we are designing new products. It's very good for us to see that our engineers are very motivated to reduce the material and therefore they are focusing on that during the R&D process. We are constantly in a very, very close dialogue with our subsuppliers to help them to reduce the carbon footprint as well. We are using a lot of local suppliers and we are also helping them and pushing them to reduce their carbon footprints. Another very important factor when we are doing the R&D is that uh, we are developing the product so they should be easy to disassemble. When disassembling, we can recycle most of the materials. Another example is when we are releasing a new software, we are printing several hundred pages and we are looking into a system where we can make it digitally and we don't have to print at all. We have a lot of things going on and we are all eager to see how we can move in the direction of the net zero carbon.